The French eat a lot of food. A lot of cheese, a lot of cream, and a lot of bread. So why is it that French people are often quite thin? I recently visited one of my favorite French cities, Lyon, and I learned a lot about French food, consumption, and what we can learn about the art of eating well. Here are a few secrets from the French. Là, je suis Joseph Viola, meilleur de France. J'ai trois restaurants sur Lyon et deux épiceries fines sous l'enseigne de Daniel et Denise. Nous sommes à Lyon, la belle et l'unique capitale de la gastronomie en France et dans le monde. Mais quand on est à Lyon, on, on, on ressent, je veux dire, l'envie de se mettre à table, l'envie d'aller fréquenter les restaurants, quel que soit le restaurant, un restaurant bistronomique ou un restaurant étoilé ou un bouchon lyonnais. In France, food is rooted in ritual. Olives marinated in herbs and spices are served prior. Often it's followed by a salad and pasta as a pre-entree. The main meal usually consists of meat or fish, and it always ends in an assortment of cheeses. The French way of consumption is learning to master and balance both your willpower and your pleasure. A lot of us eat out of carelessness. We don't notice what we're consuming. And we often don't pay attention to flavors. And because we don't give our meal our full attention and enjoyment, we often overdo it. Eating can often be a way to numb ourselves out, to distract ourselves from the present moment. And a lot of diets are inspired by fear. But the French do not eat this way. In fact, scales are not a common fixture in French bathrooms. Most French people do not count calories or count the pounds that they want to get rid of. Instead, they eat for pleasure and enjoyment with intentionality. There's no need to be strict or controlling about your food intake. We forget that eating is actually a very sensual experience. Being too disciplined in what you eat or when or what time, it lacks an openness a spontaneity in delighting in your senses. And the French, they improvise with food. They experiment frequently with simple ingredients, which is why I believe the French never get bored of food. They eat a variety of different foods, and there's so much thought and intentionality that goes into preparing a meal. Je dirais, déjà, il faut un peu de beurre. De la cuisine française. La cuisine française, en fait, elle est, elle est rythmée par quoi Par du beurre, par de la crème, par de l'alcool, c'est-à-dire les vins, que ce soit blanc ou rouge. Pourquoi Parce que nous avons de nombreuses euh, euh, régions viticoles. Mais le beurre, la crème, c'est quelque chose qui est important dans la cuisine française. Mais encore une fois, il ne s'agit pas de faire que des sauces à base de crème ou à base de beurre. Il faut, le, il faut vraiment l'incorporer avec une certaine, une certaine élégance, je dirais, et puis quelque chose qui soit super réfléchi. Puis on a la chance aussi en, en France d'avoir beaucoup d'agriculteurs. La culture, que ce soit sur les fruits, les légumes, et on, est aussi, on a aussi également beaucoup d'élevage. Je dirais que la France, c'est un garde-manger. Le garde-manger chez un cuisinier, c'est quelque chose de plus important. C'est là qu'on va ouvrir les tiroirs. Et là, l'image est tellement belle, c'est que les tiroirs, ce sont nos régions. Donc on peut les chercher un peu de beurre en Normandie, on peut les chercher des légumes autour de Lyon, euh, du vin dans les autres régions. Enfin, il y a, dans chaque région en France, il y a une spécialité. Donc euh, c'est pour ça que la France est, est quand même euh, synonyme de, du, bien, du bien manger. Et c'est important. J'ai été dans le cours. Déjà, euh, sachez que j'ai des origines italiennes. Mon papa et ma maman sont italiens. Euh, dans nos familles, donc il y avait sept enfants, plus mes parents, ça faisait neuf. On était neuf à table midi et soir. Donc vous savez, inconsciemment, 
cette tablée de 9 personnes midi et soir, ça vous marque. Euh, ça vous marque encore, encore plus le fait que quand vous voyez votre maman qui est en train de cuisiner ou que vous rentrez de l'école, ça sent bon. Toutes ces choses-là, les réunions de famille, euh, que ce soit euh, Pâques, Noël, toutes les réunions de famille, c'était des belles tablées. Donc ça, ça m'a incité, je pense, inconsciemment à faire ce métier. Et puis après, euh, après euh, voilà, j'aime manger, ça oui, j'aime manger. Et j'aime recevoir aussi, mais pas seulement que chez Daniel et Denise, mais également à la maison, mes amis, ma famille. Euh, c'est quelque chose que je, oui, que, je, que je transpire tous les jours parce que c'est ça qui me... C'est quelque chose qui me, me, qui me va extrêmement bien et j'ai envie de faire plaisir. Et de faire le métier de cuisinier, c'est également, forcément, c'est de faire plaisir aux gens. Et quand on aime faire plaisir, ben on, est, on fait quasiment sûr de la bonne cuisine. Voilà. I have asked many of my friends in France why they think that French people really don't gain weight. And they've all said the same two things. They prepare the food themselves, and they eat slowly. The faster you eat, the more you need. Here are a few simple ways to eat more like a French person, if you feel inclined to do so. Pick things in season. Choose quality over quantity. Buy only what you need for the next day or two. Eat one thing on your plate at a time and enjoy the full richness and taste of that singular item. Eat only sitting down and use real plates and napkins. Treat your meal as a ceremony, a concert. Prepare your own meals with ingredients instead of buying prepackaged foods. Don't watch something while you eat and practice putting down your utensils between every few bites and think about the flavors as you eat them. This might seem theatrical and dramatic at first, but over time, this practice of slowing down, treating your meal as a performance, is a great way to stay centered, peaceful, and present. And don't wait until you are stuffed to stop eating. Instead, stop eating when you're content. The French believe in power in presentation, and that setting the table is as important as the meal itself. French author Muriel Guliano, she wrote that the essence of French gastronomy is to have a little of several things, rather than a lot of one or two. The courses are greater in number, but smaller in size. One of my favorite French memoirs and lifestyle books, if you're into French lifestyle as myself, is by Sarah Turnbull, and she wrote this book called Almost French. She writes, A good baguette should be creamy, almost beige, but not white, sturdy, not airy, not smooth, but imperfect looking. The French have taught me to really honor the nourishment that I give my body. While I have personally gained weight since moving to France, it's not because of the cheeses or the bread or the creams or the heavy sauces for that matter. It's honestly because I love my pastries. There is nothing I love more than the local pâtisseries here in France. Tarts, brownies, eclairs, macarons, pralines, buttered brioche. These are things I find such joy in and I've noticed that if I am not careful, if I am not eating with intentionality and pausing before taking bites, if I'm not eating with intention, if I'm not sitting down and slowly eating one bite at a time, I will overconsume. I've observed how the French infuse their food with intention before they eat. They have rituals and practices in place. And it's really helped me restore my relationship with food and my body during my time living here in France. How we do one thing is often how we do everything. 
by adding presence and intention into our meals, by treating our meals as a sacred performance. It reconnects us to our body and it reconnects us to knowing what we need to feel energized, vital and alive. This connection and relationship with our intuition and our bodies is so important. And the French have really taught me how to slow down, not only in terms of my own lifestyle, but just eating and how I prepare foods, how and what I choose to consume. This is just a little bit of what I've learned as an American living in France. If you'd like to see more videos about slow living and what I'm learning from the French while living in France, feel free to click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you can be updated when I post future videos about life in France. And as always, if you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up as it really supports my work as a video creator. I am sending you such a big hug, lovely, and I hope you have the most magical day, and I'll see you next week here on The Simple Choice.